it has become expedient for us to do this press conference because of the apparent interest that we have shown in the um, business of the Interconnect Clearing House. And we're grateful for the interest that has been shown in this very important exercise, the Interconnect Clearing House. We at the National Communications Authority maintain that it's for God and country. And we would always perform for God and country. We decided therefore this morning to meet with you the very powerful fourth estate of the REM for this exercise that we believe will put all matters to rest for God and country. You see, therefore, on the high table, we have the Director General, the Deputy Director General, the Director Consumer and Corporate Affairs, uh, Principal Manager Engineering, Acting Director Legal, Board Secretary, and Acting Head of the Monitoring and Compliance Unit of the Authority. This is not the entire set of management. But we believe that at the end of the day, if there are any questions, the high table here will be able to address those issues. And we are not going to waste your time at all because this is being broadcast live on City 97.3 FM. So without wasting time, I would want to call on the Director General to come and give us, uh, to come and set a stage then we'll move on into the real route for the day. Mr. William Tebby is our Director General. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and media present here. A, a sense of accountability that this press conference has been organized to clarify some statements made with regard to the National Communications Authority award of a license for Interconnect Clearing House. To go straight to the issues, the authority is certain that there was no fraud or rigging in the selection process for the ICH license. NCA has always operated in a way to protect the integrity of its operations, and we have been in this space for the past 20 years and have worked in the interest of the country. The NCA wishes to clearly state that the assertion raised in the public domain is regrettable and unfortunately misleading and we wish to assure our stakeholders that we will continue to undertake our regulatory functions with integrity and transparency to ensure quality provision of ICT regulatory interventions for the benefits of the Ghanaians. If there are errors with the documents that you have, which you say is not in acquisition, and therefore we do not know what it is, would you run us by what these errors that you discovered before putting out your final report is? That, I think, would make a lot of sense. So what are the errors that you were able to identify? Can you run us by that? To bring this whole thing to a close, we are grateful as the Director General said, our doors are always open for interaction. Our doors are always open because we consider you part of the process. We are very grateful. Thank you very much.